We all crave courage. It's a universal desire, a deep-seated yearning within each of us to rise above our fears and limitations. We long to be brave, to face our fears and live our lives with whole hearts. This longing pushes us to step out of our comfort zones to embrace the unknown and to challenge ourselves in ways we never thought possible. But courage isn't something we're born with. It's a choice we make every single day. It's in the small decisions, the moments of hesitation, and the leaps of faith that we find our true strength. Throughout history, women have embodied extraordinary courage. Their stories inspire us, reminding us that we too can rise to meet any challenge. From the suffragettes who fought for the right to vote, to the women who broke barriers in science, art, and politics, their legacies are a testament to the power of courage. Deborah and Jael, two women from ancient Israel, are powerful examples of courage in action. Deborah, a prophetess and leader, guided her people with wisdom and strength. Jail, with her bravery, changed the course of history. Their story, though ancient, resonates deeply with our modern lives. It teaches us that courage is timeless, that the challenges we face today are not so different from those of the past. It speaks of leadership, of taking risks, and of the power of women supporting women. In a world that often tries to divide us, their story is a powerful reminder of the strength we find in unity and solidarity. It's a story that reminds us that we are capable of far more than we often believe. When we push past our limits, we discover a reservoir of strength and potential within ourselves that we never knew existed. Let's step into their world and discover the timeless wisdom they offer for navigating our own challenges with courage and grace. Their journey is not just a tale of the past, but a beacon of hope and resilience for our future. By embracing their lessons, we can find the courage to face our own battles, to rise above our fears, and to live our lives with unwavering bravery. Imagine a time of turmoil. The Israelites, God's chosen people, were oppressed. They were ruled by a Canaanite king, Jabin, and his cruel general, Sisera. Fear was a constant companion. It was during this time that Deborah emerged as a beacon of hope. She was a prophetess, a judge, and a leader of her people. Deborah possessed a rare combination of wisdom, strength, and unwavering faith. Deborah lived under a palm tree, offering counsel and guidance. People flocked to her, seeking her wisdom and finding solace in her words. She was a true leader, not because of a title, but because of the trust she inspired. Deborah's leadership wasn't about power or control. It was about service, about empowering others to find their own strength. She listened with her heart, offering guidance and encouragement. Deborah's wisdom wasn't found in lofty pronouncements, but in her ability to connect with people, to see their potential, and to inspire them to action. Imagine sitting under that palm tree, seeking Deborah's counsel. She listens intently, without judgment, and then speaks words that resonate deep within your soul. This is the essence of true leadership, to guide, to inspire, and to empower others to find their own voice. While Deborah embodied wisdom and leadership, Jael, another woman in this story, exemplified courage in action. Jael was not a warrior or a leader like Deborah, she was a woman living a simple life. Yet, when the opportunity arose for her to play a part in liberating her people, Jael acted with incredible bravery. Sisera, the enemy general, sought refuge in her tent, unaware of her allegiance to Israel. Jael, seeing an opportunity to end the tyranny, took decisive action. She acted with courage and cunning, ultimately bringing an end to Sisera's reign of terror. Section 5. Courage in the Everyday Facing Our Fears The stories of Deborah and Jael remind us that courage isn't always loud or dramatic. It's not always about grand gestures or heroic acts that make headlines. Sometimes courage is found in the small, quiet moments of our daily lives. It's often found in the quiet moments when we choose to face our fears, to speak our truth, or to step outside our comfort zones. These moments may seem insignificant, but they are the building blocks of a courageous life. It's in the everyday decisions that shape our lives. Each choice we make, no matter how small, contributes to the person we become. Whether it's deciding to stand up for ourselves to pursue a new opportunity, or to simply keep going in the face of adversity, these decisions define our character. We may not face battles with armies, but we all have our own personal struggles. These struggles can be just as daunting and require just as much courage. They test our limits and push us to grow in ways we never imagined. 
we face difficult conversations, challenging work situations, and personal setbacks that test our resilience. These moments can be incredibly tough, but they also offer us the chance to rise above our fears and show our true strength. In those moments, it's easy to let fear paralyze us. Fear can be overwhelming, making us feel small and powerless. But it's important to remember that fear is just a feeling, and it doesn't have to control us. But like Deborah and Jail, we have the power within us to choose courage. We can decide to face our fears head on, to take that first step, and to keep moving forward, no matter how difficult it may seem. Courage is not the absence of fear, but the determination to act in spite of it. And in doing so, we discover our true strength and potential. Section 6. Leading with Authenticity. Finding Your Voice. Deborah's leadership style wasn't about fitting into a mold or conforming to expectations. She embraced her unique gifts and used them to serve her people. She wasn't afraid to speak her truth even when it was difficult. In a world that often tries to silence women's voices, Deborah's story is a powerful reminder that our voices matter. We each have a unique perspective, a story to tell, and a contribution to make. True leadership isn't about holding a position of power, but about using our voices to inspire, to uplift, and to create positive change in the world. Section 7. The Power of Decisive Action, Stepping Out of Indecision Jail's story highlights the importance of decisive action. We can spend countless hours analyzing, planning, and waiting for the perfect moment. But sometimes the most courageous thing we can do is to simply act. Of course, this doesn't mean acting recklessly or without thought, but it does mean being willing to step out of our comfort zones, to take calculated risks, and to trust our instincts. When we allow fear and indecision to paralyze us, we miss out on opportunities for growth, for impact, and for living a life that is truly fulfilling. Section 8. Family Ties, Navigating Relationships with Courage the stories of Deborah and Jail also hold valuable lessons for our relationships. Families can be sources of great joy, but they can also bring challenges. Navigating family dynamics requires courage, compassion, and a willingness to communicate openly and honestly. Just as Deborah offered guidance and support to her people, we can strive to create supportive and loving environments within our own families. This means setting healthy boundaries, communicating our needs effectively, and being willing to have difficult conversations with love and respect. Section 9. Career Paths, Leading and Thriving in the Workplace In today's competitive work environment, it's easy to feel pressured to conform, to stay silent, or to shrink back from leadership opportunities. Deborah's story reminds us that true leadership is about authenticity, integrity, and a passion for making a difference. Whether we're leading a team, running a business or simply striving to do our best work, we can all embody Deborah's qualities of wisdom, courage, and compassion. By embracing our unique strengths, communicating effectively, and advocating for ourselves and others, we can create positive change in our workplaces and beyond. Section 10. Personal Resilience – Overcoming Challenges with Grace Life is full of challenges. We face setbacks, disappointments, and losses that can test our resilience. It's in these difficult moments that we need courage the most. Deborah and Jail's stories remind us that even in the face of adversity, we have the strength within us to overcome. Just as they drew on their faith and inner resources to persevere, we too can find the strength to navigate life storms with grace and determination. Section 11. Conclusion. Embracing the Legacy of Courage. The stories of Deborah and Jail are timeless reminders of the power of courage. These women from ancient times have shown us that true bravery transcends generations and cultures. They teach us that courage isn't the absence of fear, but the willingness to act in spite of it. It's about facing our fears head on and moving forward with conviction, even when the path is uncertain. It's about using our voices, embracing our strengths, and making a difference in the world. Each of us has a unique voice and a unique strength that can contribute to positive change. As we navigate the complexities of our modern lives, let us remember the legacy of these extraordinary women. Their stories are not just tales of the past, but blueprints for our present and future. May their stories inspire us to step into our own courage, to lead with authenticity, and to face our challenges with grace and determination. Let us draw strength from their experiences and apply it to our own lives. 
The world needs our voices, our strength, and our willingness to make a difference. In every corner of the globe, there are issues that require our attention and action. Let us answer the call. With determination and grace, we can continue the legacy of courage, making an impact that will be felt for generations to come. Together, we can create a world where courage is celebrated and where every voice matters.